a mess right now, but oh well. So I can't believe that I'm saying this, but this is my first secret pregnancy vlog. I never thought I would be making this vlog right now in life. So today is, I don't know what it is. It's, it's March something. Um, and basically let me just clear this up because I know there's going to be a lot of people out there saying, how didn't you know or anything like that so i've been on birth control i've been on the pill called junelle so those of you who are really not trying to get pregnant or anything like that please understand the only way that you will not get pregnant is abstinence abstinence is the only thing that is a hundred percent okay that 99.9 percent .9 will prove you wrong <laughs> that is not accurate um I decided that I wanted to make this vlog not only for my remembrance or whatever the case is, but also to show, because I have a lot of college girls watching me, a lot of high school girls, just a lot of girls that if you're not ready for this stage in life, I want to show you the trials and tribulations that you will go through. So I'm not trying to glorify pregnancy and I'm not trying to make pregnancy seems like seem like a horrible thing what's going to be documented in these vlogs are going to be real real things you know so i decided to do this today because we have officially told all of our parents i basically went to go get my birth control get, switch over to a new birth control because for those y'all know that i have been gaining some weight not only because i'm coming out of the winter time but because i was on birth control so i went to go try and see if i can find something where either didn't have a steroid in it or it wasn't that bad because this is too much <laughs> but now i understand what this is so sorry this is tmi my last period was february 20 no, am i am i lying february 20th i believe so what i thought was a period and i thought it was light because i'm on birth control so i'm typically not a light person i'm sorry if this is tmi i'm just trying to give so much information i'm not a light person at all but because i'm on these on this birth control i assumed that my period was light for that reason but i went in today to get another type of birth control i took the pill and I mean, I took the pill. I took you have to take a pregnancy test every time before you get on birth control, or you know. So I went in, and the lady came back in, and she was just like, "Well, I can't give you birth control." And I'm just like, "What's what's going on?" Thought she was about to tell me that the um, there's no birth control that really works for what I have for what I want. And then she went on to tell me because I'm pregnant. When you're really trying to prevent something and it happens, it just kind of sucks. So I called my mom and I told her and my mom wasn't mad or cussing me out or anything. Obviously, my mom wants the best for me. I'm her only child. She wanted me to be married. She wanted me to have my master's degree, but that's not what has happened. So we're just going to take this day by day. So, yeah, this is entry number one. Um... I wish I was married. I'm not married. There's nothing I can do to solve that. I'm not going to run to marriage just because I'm pregnant. Um, but y'all, if you don't know, I'm going to let you know. Me and my boyfriend, we love each other very, very much. Um, Kendall is like a first boyfriend in a sense. I've never really had anybody that's really loved and appreciated me like Kendall does. I've never really had anybody that cares for my family like Kendall does. Like... I can't describe it, you know, for those of you who are new to my channel or anything like that. I don't want y'all to think that I'm just some immature girl that just messes around or anything along those lines. No, that's not the case. But um, I know I'm not going to go all positive comments, so I'm gearing myself up for this. But I've had a hard time basically trying to accept this for the longest, so... If you're not happy, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to get there. How I'm feeling, I I feel kind of sick, but it is what it is. Um, I have an appointment next Wednesday, or this coming Wednesday. Sorry, my hair looks a mess. This coming Wednesday, just to, um, obviously, to date it, to see how far along I am, and if everything is progressing well. So, that will be on this vlog as well. And what else did I want to say? Um... 
Kendall and I are actually about to go to Target to start pricing things. So we want to just make sure that we are going to be the best parents that we can be. And I know I can't be nothing but a couple weeks along right now. So I know you're like, you're going shopping. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up one or two things, but I also want to price things just so I know how much particular, how much certain things are. So further down the way, when I get paid or Kendall gets paid, we can cross things off of our list that we need. But yeah, so that's entry number one. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but... All right, y'all. See you later. Hey, y'all. So, um, this is a couple of days after I just made my pregnancy announcement or my my first secret pregnancy vlog, and um, I wasn't planning on vlogging until after my appointment, which is on Wednesday, two days from now. But I figured that since stuff is actually going on, that I don't want to. <laughs> that I don't want to miss out on telling y'all what's going on okay so anyways like I was saying so I'm not exactly sure how far along I am I'm supposed to go in on Wednesday for my dating and my first ultrasound which I'm excited about um just to make sure that the baby's growing properly and everything's good um I'm still pretty nervous about this first trimester. Um, I haven't, we just told family first of all, and then I'm not announcing to y'all because I, obviously I would like my whole family to know before I put it on um, any social media. And because it's the first trimester, it's so hard. I know some people rather not wait. They rather just go ahead and tell people, but I think I'd rather wait for the 13th week or the 12th week to say anything. Just just because so um i decided to pick up my camera today because i'm having all types of symptoms first of all i was at my first job today and the first thing i noticed that i was doing was i like felt like a bubbling sensation so i really haven't had an appetite for like the past two to three days and um hate to say this too i know this is probably tmi but i also i I guess you can say I've been constipated. I haven't been trying to go, but I haven't gone either. And I'm a pretty regular person. So that's one thing that I've noticed. I haven't really had an appetite or whenever I eat something, it doesn't really have a full taste to it. So today when I was at work, I just started feeling like some bubbling coming up and something just told me go to the bathroom because it's about to come up. Luckily, but not luckily, I haven't really ate anything, so there was nothing to come up. I just started dry heaving, and it was just so, so terrible. But at least after that happened, I, I decided to eat. Like, I could actually eat and actually taste my food. So that was a good thing. Another thing I'm noticing is hair on my body like my facial hair is growing so much when I say facial hair I mean my eyebrows growing so much like if I go a day without shaving my legs it looks like I've gone months so my hair is just all over the place as far as my hair on my head honestly I haven't weaved so I really haven't like gone all in my hair and everything so I can't really tell you about the growth of that um and I'm so tired, y'all. It doesn't matter what time I go to sleep. Like, this weekend, I spent my weekend sleeping, and I'm just still exhausted. But anywho, I will see y'all on Wednesday. Y'all, good morning. It's the morning of my first appointment. Um, I'm driving by myself today because, unfortunately, Kendall cannot come because his teacher will not let him miss class. Um... Even if he has a doctor's note, it has to be for him. It's not like he had to come. So I told him, you know what, don't worry about it. I'll fill you in completely. I know it sucks because you want to be here, but I'm sorry, y'all, the camera's moving too much. But what can you do? You got to grind to finish school. So um, I'm on my way to work now, y'all. I don't really have an appetite when I wake up in the morning like it takes a while for me to have an appetite like yesterday I didn't truly have an appetite until probably about two hours after I threw up sorry if that's TMI it just sucks um it's just like my body it's just like my body's on a different thing I don't know how to describe it like I know when I'm hungry and then I know when I'm not hungry but my baby's hungry I, I don't know I know it sounds like the weirdest thing because you're like your baby's like the size of a blueberry which it is I think but yeah like it's just 
it's it's a different experience so yeah so i go to work and then i have to drive back down here and go to my ob obviously i have my ob down here because we live down here so yeah um some other things that i wanted to talk about really fast because i have some i do have some worries okay because y'all know first of all that whole psychics prediction if i'm really having twins i'm gonna freak out like I don't think I was cut out for multiple births. I mean, I'm pretty sure I was cut out for it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like, the thought of having more than one child at a time is scary, you know? That's double everything. And then, the fact that we live in a one-bedroom apartment, it looks like we're probably gonna have to move because, um, not that the baby can't share a room with us, but there's not enough storage for three to four of us you know what i'm saying babies have a lot of stuff they they require a lot of stuff throughout the years and months as they grow older so i'm thinking that um i might have to we might have to save up some money and move whether it's into a two bedroom here or i don't know we're gonna think of something but i will see y'all later on today so I have arrived at my doctor I'm about to go in I'm really really nervous just because this is the first ultrasound that I'm gonna have so you don't know you know you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know if you're even gonna see a heartbeat or anything like that and I've been reading too much that's my biggest thing I don't know if I'm gonna see more than one like but anyways here goes nothing I'm about to go in here Hey y'all, so today I am eight weeks and three days. Um, and I figured I should just get on here and do a little quick vlog. So I was vlogging for my regular vlog and I was like, hey, you should probably do something for the secret pregnancy vlog. So um let's see my symptoms haven't really changed i still have had the same symptoms that i've been having that i told y'all about if i don't eat i i throw up i'm in some pain i get real live hunger pains um i know when i'm hungry and i know when the baby's hungry and i know when both of us are hungry if that makes any sense i am absolutely absolutely hating getting up for anything um I pee more frequently throughout the day and the night and everything um but I just like getting up for work this morning was just not happening I was not feeling it like if I feel bad but some of the times I feel like calling off of work which is not like my normal self um but other than that nothing else has really changed um I still haven't gained any weight or anything like that oh I officially hate meats now I won't eat like chicken or ribs or anything like that we went home for this past weekend and I actually asked my mom to make me some food and to include some fried chicken and I couldn't even stand looking at it but other than that that's about it all right I'll check with y'all later so I am back today I am nine weeks and two days and I'm I wish this could go faster you know what I'm saying like right now I am I'm such a planner but one thing I do what I plan is I like to get the stuff as I plan but as you know being nine weeks pregnant it's still very early to do anything so right now I am just making a list of things so it says things to do before baby so number one I put get a better job which I have already done um, move into a two to three bedroom townhouse so I think I've mentioned this before before um earlier in the um vlog that Kendall and I are going to be moving again but it's not going to be until probably September October because my due date is November 6th so I can go I can give birth anytime between late November mid late no mid to late October in uh, and then beginning of November mid November so that's why we've just decided that October is just the best time um 
which I'm really excited for. So, because when we get there, I get to set up a nursery, or we get to set up a nursery. So, I'm excited about that. One thing that we also wanted to do was to make sure that we do have a savings account open for the baby. So, we are going to put money aside. What I want to do is I want to be able to put money aside for the baby and then also have money put aside towards the stuff that the baby needs. So, but I know that both of us have very big, generous families. So I also know when things like the baby shower comes and when the baby comes, there is going to be some money given. So we're probably going to wait until that money comes around before we open the baby uh the baby's actual savings account but we are also going to save money for the baby as well if that made any sense um so i want to make sure that i have all things baby related um get all the outfits that i need all the accessories that i need everything i wish i could do it now y'all i'm super i don't want to say i'm excited but like what i am first of all but i'm just like i said i'm such a planner that i just want to get out and do everything right away and then the sixth thing that I have on here is set up nursery. So right now my best thing that I am trying to do is just make sure that I'm doing whatever it is. Sorry for the lighting. I'm doing whatever it is necessary. Yeah, whatever it is necessary to prepare for my baby. So yeah. Um, another thing is, excuse me. Now that we're in April, we're getting down to the last couple of weeks of the first trimester, which I'm excited about because as you get into the second trimester, you know your chances or the, the risk of having a miscarriage has gone down tremendously. So I'm trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to announce to y'all. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a video where I'm saying story time because y'all love story time videos so much and then just flat out just say it or do I want to do something cute or do I want to do a live pregnancy? There's so many things that I can do that I just don't know how I'm going to break it to y'all but literally it's coming up in less than, well not less than a month but in a month, let's see. Let me see when I will be officially in my 13th week. Okay. So, yeah, at the end of this month, I will be 12 weeks. So, by May 1st, I will be 13 weeks. So, I will probably be announcing May 1st. I'm ready to get it out here because I'm just tired of, like, hiding this secret from y'all. I'm so surprised nobody has said anything like girl where you been at are you pregnant you know what i'm saying i'm so surprised nobody has said that so either y'all just know and you just keeping it a secret or i don't know but yeah anyways this is all for now i'm i'm not sure when i'll be back on here but all right y'all y'all so today i am nine weeks and let me make sure i have this right i won't be giving y'all false information Come on. Today I am nine weeks and four days. I don't know if y'all can tell what that says. So I just wanted to tell y'all about my appointment yesterday. So yesterday I went in for what I thought was supposed to be my glucose test and genetic testing. That's what the nurse told me two weeks ago when I was there for my ultrasound. But I went in yesterday for a midwife slash ob doctors of, or checkup physical checkup or whatever first of all i don't know if i'm going to be if i want to see a midwife or if i want to see a ob i'm still weighing out the pros and cons i don't know what's best I, that's one thing i really have not looked into and i definitely need to do that so i went in yesterday and first thing we did was to talk about my labs that i did two weeks ago when i went in for my first ultrasound so everything came back good they, were, they weren't worried about anything i finally know my blood type after 24 years i've never known it um so everything was good except that i'm anemic but that's something i've already known so she also looked at my neck and was like does your neck look a little bit swollen i was like first of all i was like i don't look at my neck like not that I don't look at my neck. I look at every part of my body, but my neck is one of those things that if I don't see something noticeably wrong with it, 
there's nothing wrong with my neck. Like, I'm staring at it now, and it's just like, my neck's not big. Girl, get out of here. So, she definitely wanted to check my thyroid, and then I did the glucose test. So, I had to drink that nasty drink. It tasted like melted orange popsicle pop. The liquid. It was just not for me. So, I did that, and then I had to wait an hour before I could, um get my blood drawn but yeah that went well so my next appointment is in another two weeks and i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm not even halfway through this pregnancy and i'm already annoyed <laughs> with how many appointments that i have to go to every two weeks or so but um in two weeks, we are doing another ultrasound, which is cool because in two weeks, I'll be 11 weeks, and then I can actually see, or is it two weeks or three weeks? Wait. Yes. Two <coughs> hey, y'all, so if you, okay, let me try to relate this to the vlog I recorded today. If you go back and watch the vlog where I was talking about my health, that's what's going on today. Um... It was actually kind of awkward recording that video in a sense because a part of me wanted to say that I'm being rushed to get this ultrasound and everything because it's more important because I'm pregnant, but I haven't said that, of course. So I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that we actually have for the baby. I wish I knew the gender just because I want to go shopping, okay? Um, I'm not sure if I showed y'all any of this before, but anyways, I'm pretty sure I didn't show y'all all of this stuff. So, um... If I haven't said this before, my friend Erica is the godmother, and she came to visit this weekend, and she actually brought some stuff, so I wanted to show y'all. The first thing she got us were these little booties, and I thought they were so cute. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a boy, she or he will be wearing this. And then she got us a little package of four washcloths, and clearly gender neutral but in my opinion even if it's green white and yellow and blue automatically i would pick this up for a boy am, am i tripping um and she also got us some onesies um this is zero to three months and there are three onesies in here so just want to say thank you to erica we really didn't expect that and we do appreciate it the three onesies that kendall and i got we got this from um target and I know this seems like a little like a little boy outfit. I still liked it. I would still put my daughter in it. I don't know why. Got one with little rubber ducks on them. And then we have another one that says to-do list, nap, play, nap number two, drool, snack, and nap <laughs> number three. So I just wanted to show y'all what we got. Like, I'm going to keep saying this again. I can't wait to find out we're having a girl boy by... By the time we find out, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have, like, triple the amount of stuff that we have now. So, I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, um, I am doing my 12-week update. I, I don't think I've updated y'all all this week. And I'm so impatient that I have to tell y'all now. And if you're wondering why I'm holding my face, I have a bad pimple. So now that I've announced it and y'all seen it, y'all can go ahead and look at it. This pregnancy is the worst on my skin. I constantly have hair grown on my chin at like a rate of like every 18 hours they multiply. I have this very bad pimple. I don't typically have acne or anything like that. So this is just, this is horrible. So any whore, as you've already seen in the beginning clips and everything, I today I am 12 weeks and three days, I believe. Excuse me. Um, what I'm going through right now is today I had the hardest time getting ready for work. And I wore pants and a shirt today, and that was probably the wrong decision. I, I thank God that I'm going to be going through this Um sorry y'all I'm, I'm trying to get my words together thank god i'm gonna be really going through this during the summertime so i can wear skirts and dresses and just flow because my belly is starting to come out now and i'm realizing it so that's why i figured i probably should announce today um when i go home i will give y'all a belly shot aka it's kind of like mixed with that but it's more than what has already been happening before but um 
yeah <laughs> that's my 12 week update although i still have a couple more days to go with it right now i do have a fever i don't know what's going on but i've been extremely tired this week too and i think also because i did start a new job and i am at a desk for eight hours at a day it yeah eight hours a day so we'll see how it goes but anyways i will see y'all a little bit when i get home ignore my mirror here it's all messy but you can see this is what it looks like.